So collaborative robots is fairly new. It's in its infancy. We're seeing a lot of customers require the ability to work hand in hand with robots. Typically that wasn't possible, but in today's day and age, especially with the new technology being developed around the world, it's more possible than ever. There are several styles of robots which are able to work directly in tandem with a person, directly next to a person. That's only possible because of the force sensing technology built into these newer style of robots. For sure. So there are limitations that they have to move slower. You have to build them efficiently and effectively so that they don't injure somebody. Um, however, they can work hand in hand with somebody right next to somebody taking maybe a mundane task or, or a repetitive task or a task which is known to injure people uh, uh, and move that towards a repetitive task for a robot. So this particular application is designed for robot buffing and robot sanding of components, so it's certainly automotive, but there's also applications for this in food and beverage. Uh, a packaging application is perfect for a, a small little collaborative robot so that an operator can continually feed this product and this will pack it into boxes. Um, and it can do that on uh, a variety of different products. It's not. So we joke about that. Um, however, there are applications out there where they're doing you know, testing applications, like uh, grooming animals with these collaborative robots. And that's already in the works. So I wouldn't say that that's far-fetched in order to be doing those types of applications. Now, washing a car is certainly, I would love to have one of these robots for washing my car.